Hello there and welcome to Linux SEO and this video is about the advanced package management tool or APT or app. So in this video we will learn how to use the advanced package management tool to manage the packages. But before going into that we first need to know what is a repository and how we use it in our day to day life. So have you ever wondered like when you open the terminal and uh, when you hit the update command that is sudo apt update and you type in your password basically and uh, a list of links just pops up in the terminal and uh, they does some kind of fetching basically they are fetching the list of applications and they are also fetching like uh, whether any update is available to the installed package or not so these links basically are pointing to a repository repository basically is a place a central place you can say where all the packages are stored so if you are using ubuntu or any of its derivatives then the repo is maintained by the launchpad so launchpad is a website that is maintained by canonical and canonical is the parent company behind the ubuntu all the packages are there and uh, we basically contact to the repo to get the applications and uh, that is done with the repository links so in this i have so many repository links for example these are the different repository links that are pointing so these all links are different for example this allows me to download the bibaldi application and these repo can be hosted individually by their respective authors as well but most of the repo will be stored in the launchpad and uh, they they have the all the packages and we download those packages after authenticating basically we need uh, some kind of authentication so that we download only the secure applications from the servers so that is the repository where all the packages are stored and to get the packages from there we have to add those repository links these links to our system and after establishing the connection we need some kind of tool that will allow us to manage the applications so what if i want to install any package in my system how will i be able to do that and uh, what if i want to download the package and i want to uninstall that package and uh, these all things can be done using a package manager so there are of course many package managers out there but the most popular one is the advanced package management tool that is apt which is used by mint which is used by mx linux elementary os ubuntu and uh, debian and there are bunch of applications and there are bunch of distributions that use the advanced package management tool but there are other package management tool as well for example dfn is there dfn basically used by fedora and red hat and any derivative of it for example centos uses dfn earlier they used to use yum by um but now they use dfn and there are other as well like jipper is there and there is pacman which is used by manzaro there are different kind of management tools available but the apt is the most popular one so let's get into the tutorial and see how to use the advanced package management tool to manage the packages in the system by packages i simply means the applications so let me clear the terminal using the control l and i will show you the commands that are there with the advanced package management tool so the very first command that i just ran is sudo apt update so to make any changes in the system we have to use sudo right so we are saying like sudo so that is the typical command but after that we are specifying like we want to use advanced package management tool and with the advanced package management tool what we want to do we want to update the repositories so for that i will hit the update command so this will contact all the repository links to the servers and will fetch the package list and any updates if they are available like this is saying there are some updates available and if you want to see them you can hit this command so this doesn't require any sudo privilege so i can directly run apd list and then i can type like upgradable and this will list me all the packages that have an update so these are basically my graphic card drivers so they have got some kind of updates here so if i want to install these update what i can do i can type sudo apt upgrade so this will upgrade all these packages that are installed in my system like this is saying you need to get around 112 megabytes of data and after the operation i mean after the updation 6 megabytes of extra additional disk space will be used and uh, if i want to continue i can type 
Y and hit enter. So this will download the packages files from the server and install them in the system. So the update command is for checking whether any update is available to a certain package and uh, the upgrade command for upgrading the particular package. Now this is upgrading all the packages at once. But if I want to upgrade only single package, I can do that. So what if I, I don't want to upgrade any of these packages, I only want to upgrade this one here. So I can simply copy the name. This is Massa hyphen BA hyphen drivers. I can type APT upgrade and this name. So this will upgrade only this particular package, not the all packages. So let me just fast forward this video so that this downloading can be finished. So it has done updating the system. So I'm going to clear the terminal. So, so far we used two commands. One is update and another one is upgrade. Next is install remove command. So if you want to install any package, you can do that. To install any package, you can type sudo apt because we want to use apt and it requires sudo privilege. So we are adding the sudo. And then what we want to do, we want to install and package and we can do that. And we can now specify the package name. For example, I want to install BLC. So I will type BLC, I will hit enter. And this is saying like I already have BLC installed. So I do not need to install. So what if I want to remove the BLC? So what I will do basically sudo apt remove and uh, I will type BLC. So now you are seeing the pattern is following. Basically, you type the sudo command, then the package management tool name and what you want to do with it. For example, I want to remove an package from the system. So here it is saying like you can remove the BLC and uh, how much disk will be free. So I can type Y and hit enter. So this will remove the BLC from the system. Now, if I try to search BLC, I will not be able to find BLC in the system. But there is a different command as well for removing the package and that is purge. So if I type here again like sudo apt install blc so this will install the blc of course so this has installed the blc again the blc is available in the system now so when I use the remove command to remove any application it simply removes the application but it does not remove any configuration files attached to it so if blc has any configuration files in the system they will not get removed typically when we want to remove any application we do not want any files that belongs to that application remaining in the system we want to simply remove those files and if you want to do that then you can use pulse command for removing any application so earlier we use like sudo apt remove but now we will use pulse so we will type pulse and uh, we will type the application name that we want to remove so i will hit enter so this is saying like uh, this will remove all the packages and configuration files associated with it so i will hit enter or i, I can type by and hit enter and this will do the job if i run update command again so if i like type sudo apt update this will update the system this also gives you some kind of information to let you know like what can be done with your packages. So like I have simply up updated the repositories but uh, any updates is not available because I just upgraded the system. So if I type sudo again apt upgrade nothing will get upgraded. But this is saying like uh, there are certain packages that are installed in the system but they are no longer required. For example, I have removed BLC, but some packages that are simply installed in the system, but they are not required because the application is not available. And to remove these additional packages that are installed in the system, you can use this command. So this is auto remove. So this removes any dependency that is available, but it is not required by any application. So simply execute this command sudo apt auto remove and hit enter. So this will free around 400 megabytes of data from the system. I can type by and this will remove all the data that is unnecessary in your system related to packages, of course. So we have covered like update command, upgrade command, install, and we have also learned the differences between remove and purge command. So we have done that and we have already used the auto remove command. Now let's do other things. For example, what if I want to know how many packages are installed in my system? Like I want to see all the packages list that are installed in my system. I can do that. So for that, I can simply clear the terminal first and I can type uh, apt list. So this will list all the packages that are installed in the system. So there are like hundreds of packages that are installed in my system. So this is the 
whole list of those packages so you can use this command to list all the packages basically there are other commands as well for example if you want to search any package in the whole repository like you want to search whether a particular package or application is available in the repo or not so let's say we want to search for an application called spotify whether it is available in the original repository of ubuntu or not so if i like search for if i type like apt and type here search and i will specify the package name that is spotify i will hit enter so this is saying like there are some packages available and uh, they are saying like spotify client is there so this is basically returning me the package name that is installed in my system so this is not basically getting any package that is available in the repo but uh, there are some packages for example this is here spotify client qt available in the repo so this is basically anything that is matching with this spotify bug so this is basically anything that is matching with this spotify bug that is available in the repo it is returning all the results and uh, you can do the same with the plc as well for example if you want to search for the plc available in the system or not so this will give you all the packages that are associated with the plc so these are packages that can be installed in the system so basically you can search in the repo using search command you can also see the details of a particular package for example i want to know some details about blc so we are using blc again and again. i can type apd and i can type like show blc so this will give me all the details related to the blc so like uh, package name is blc what is the current version priority and uh, what is the section of the application the origin the maintainer the developers who are maintaining the packages and uh, the dependencies all the information that are Related to that particular package, you can use so command to get the information about that package. Then we can also use a command called download. So in Windows, if you have used Windows before, then you probably download the executable files and store them in a system like .exe file. The same can be done with the Linux as well. So for example, if you want to store the package of VLC, so I'm going to clear the terminal. You can simply type like apt download and the package name. It will simply download the package file so the blc package has been downloaded in the system so this is the blc package here so it is very easy to download any package if you want to download like if i want to download sm player then i can simply type the sm player name and this will download the package file so here is the sm player so ubuntu uses .dev file so this is why it is downloading .dev files so you can download the packages as well using the advanced packagesman tool you don't have to go anywhere else next uh, sometimes we want to reinstall the application right so that can be done so if i type blc here so blc is not installed so i can install sudo apd install blc so this will install in the system so around 7 megabytes needs to be downloaded so blc install and uh, for some reason i want to reinstall blc so i can type sudo apt reinstall blc and i can hit enter this will simply reinstall the application so that can also be done so these are the basic or necessary commands related to the advanced package tool like how to update the repo how to upgrade packages available in the repo and how to install remove purge or how to auto remove the non-required files how to list the application details like what are the packages available related to a particular application how to search for any package how to show details about any package, how to reinstall a package and how to download a package. So all these commands are very easy and you have learned these commands in this tutorial and I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you did don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section below and if you need any assistance with anything then let me know, I will make a tutorial on that and publish it on this channel. So till then take care and keep enjoying Linux and I will catch you in the next one.